Before we continue with this video, I'd like to say that this model here is available for download on Maker World, Printables, and Colts 3D. Alrighty, let's move on. Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, I want to show you how I managed to create this figurine. It's almost like a Funko Pop. Almost, not really. It doesn't have the black eyes. Does it need to have black eyes to be a Funko Pop? I'm not sure. But anyway, I do like Funko Pops. In my previous videos, you've seen me uh, print some of the Funko Pops and paint them. I even had some live streams and I decided to delete them because, I don't know, they were cringe. Uh, <laughs> I, there's a lot of videos on this channel that have been deleted already simply because, I don't know, I'm too conscious about what I put out and yeah, I, I don't know, I just end up deleting that stuff. But regardless, I will show you today how I managed to make this figurine. I think this is my coolest creation so far. Um, the most difficult part I had in the design process was designing the the horns that takes so much time going back and forth trying to you know make a nice perfect cut i'm tired of that i just want to be able to sit down say what i want to say and you know stop going back and forth deleting the footage because i want to have a nice perfect take so what i was trying to say every time i've been deleting the, the footage is that I want to improve myself as a designer Th that was the goal for this year is to improve myself as a designer this was actually featured in my now deleted video um, I was mentioning how you know I want to learn how to use pl plasticity plasticity is a program that is well their motto says it's a CAD program for artists so that that's pretty much what it is I started using plasticity in early January one of my most fun experiences is when people ask me to make them something, something custom um, or try to fix them, uh, a broken piece, for example. The latest request was to make a custom cover plate. Now, this is a double gang cover plate, but they wanted the receptacle in the middle and they wanted the cover plate to be bigger than your typical plate because somebody made a hole bigger in the drywall. Shout out to Randy, thank you for the 10 bucks. Uh, I, yeah, that was a fun experience in designing that particular cover plate. Um, it turned out good, I guess. You could see the infill, uh, the grid line, so I mean, yeah it's not it's not perfect but i can imagine that the material cost would have been significant if i increased the infill right and that's where the designing part comes into play what 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 differently could i could i have done to improve the model and yeah that uh, that is the topic of today that is essentially me looking at how i designed this little guy and uh, what struggles I faced. So, as mentioned, the horns was the most difficult part, okay? And plasticity uh, has, this, uh, has this wonderful tool called loft. Yeah, lofting. Uh, what it does, essentially, you can create a profile with curves that then follows a path for creating a face. Okay, so let's say you have these two circles, you're able to then click two curves and select the loft tool, which will allow you to create this piece. And to make it into a solid, you have to close it off, okay? So yeah, that was one of my struggles when designing this uh, little Viking. Well, somebody on Reddit actually gave him a name called Ump. Ump. Well, there was a lot of different names that people have chosen, but the one that stood out for me is Ump. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, that's the acronym for All Others Must Perish. Okay, so that was, uh, I don't know, I, I, I feel like it's a cool name. And of course, there is somebody, number one comment, Jeff. I'm gonna, now I'm going to try to recreate 22 Jump Street. My name Jeff? No, I can't. I can't. My, na my name Jeff? My name Jeff? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. I'll get, I'm going to give it one more try. <sighs> My name Jeff. <laughs> I, I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. My name Jeff. <laughs> I 
what am I doing? Anyway, right. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sure people who hasn't who haven't seen that movie might be scratching their heads thinking what is he on about yeah 22 jump street uh channing tatum amazing that was that 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 that, that meme still lives it still lives like you can still once in a while see somebody using it so um yeah i, I don't know why people chose jeff for this guy but uh that was the top rated comment i do not i i didn't want it to be jeff um i wanted it to be ump ump that's i feel like it's a cool cool name and again shout out to now i can't remember his username jim pot jim dash pot i believe that's the username okay shout out to jim pot thank you for the wonderful suggestion um i'm sure now you on the screen you see how i'm assembling everything and yeah it's a uh, it was a fun process now here's something else i want to show you where is he look at this so one thing as a designer that you're supposed to do, especially if you're making the model public for everyone to download, you're supposed to create a draft version. Okay. <laughs> this here is a draft. Now I did something silly. I wasn't supposed to do this, but I mean, it turned out pretty good, right? That is because I had to shave and shave a bit of plastic, okay? Uh, before I managed to make all the pieces fit. So I kind of did it backwards. Now, I didn't want to do this to people downloading the model. So I created a draft that has different dimensions, okay? Like these, uh, these holes here in the head where the horns are going to be. Uh, mounted on well you're supposed to glue it in actually this model uh, you have to glue it in uh, but this model here is a draft version that has different dimensions from the the one that you see in the video right now um, this one has been adjusted to the point where you pretty much do not need glue all of these pieces are essentially inserted okay I would still highly recommend using glue just to make sure that the pieces do not fall out. Um, yeah. And you see, I didn't even finish the face. The face is just grid lines. That's because I had no more use for printing it beyond that point because I just wanted to make sure that the, the horns will actually uh, fit, okay? You want to be able to print this particular model with filament that's draft filament that is cheap, okay? Because it will go to waste, like this is now being thrown out. So, <laughs> yeah, so you want to make sure that you save money when you're doing trial and error, making sure that the tolerances are met and that everything fits so that the people downloading your model will be happy and not leave a one star saying hey this didn't fit how come what am i doing wrong so yeah it's all up to you how you want your model to be assembled right i mean you can tell people if you need to make make some adjustments like by cutting and shaving something of the model but i do not recommend it i, I would say just make a model that is easily put together people will like that okay so I, I would like to ask the community and the people watching this video people who are going to be downloading this model and assembling it let me know how the process went most of the filming colors I used was made by polymaker uh, this one here like the main blue color is actually a galaxy dark blue filament from polymaker I believe now they changed their name to panchroma something like that I, i'm sure it still exists but yeah it's the galaxy dark blue uh your eyes was your simple orange filament uh the ornaments that are golden that is your silk gold filament also by polymaker uh the horns simple white color 
Um, the sword was silk chrome. Gosh, I hate how it's not in focus. Yeah, so the sword is uh, silk chrome with the inner silk uh, gold as a filling just to make the sword stand out a bit. Yeah, and uh, you, you might notice that the, the pants are a little bit, uh, little bit of a different color. I, that That's my bad. I was supposed to print everything in Galaxy Dark Blue, but because I was anxious to finish this model, I used simply dark blue color, okay? It doesn't have those speckles, the, uh, the Galaxy. Right, um, let me know what you think of the model. Um, comment down below. Oh, it's time to sell out a little bit. <laughs> so, I'm making these models for free. Most of the time they're gonna be free. I currently have no paid models. All the models I have out there are free to, for download. I do ask small favor. Please consider joining my YouTube membership. I have memberships as low as a dollar, okay? And I will be giving you a shout out in the videos. I'll give you a sneak peek behind my future projects. And of course, there's different tiers of memberships that you can subscribe to. Again, I do not ask no money for making these. They're free to download, but I do, I will appreciate if you will become a member, okay? Oh yeah, you also get uh, custom emoticons that you can use in these videos. So anyway, um, again, your support greatly appreciated. If you can't subscribe financially, please consider subscribing just simply to the channel. I'll be making similar videos in the future. And uh, yeah, so you'll be up to date with my latest creations. I'd like to say a really big thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.